For this oil change, we'll start by popping the hood. Then we'll remove the engine oil fill cap. I like to place the engine oil fill cap on the hood latch. This ensures that I don't close the hood without the engine oil fill cap back in its proper place. Nice. Now, take a look underneath the vehicle. You'll locate the engine oil filter as well as the drain plug. Once you've located the drain plug, remove the drain plug with a ratchet, breaker bar, wrench or similar tool. In this case I'm using a ratchet with a socket and then I'll remove the remainder of the drain plug by hand. Doing so allows me to feel for that final thread on the drain plug. You'll notice that I stop for a quick second, adjust my pan, and carefully aim the oil into the pan. This is by design. Notice that I have no mess whatsoever. I'm not wearing the oil. The oil's not making a, a slippery mess on the floor. This is the ideal situation. Sometimes this may take a minute, and that's okay. It is recommended that you warm the engine's oil up before draining the oil. However, you do not want the engine oil so hot that you're putting yourself into a dangerous situation. In this case, the engine oil is warm, but it's not too hot to work with. I'm careful to ensure that I don't get burned while doing this engine oil change. Next we'll remove the engine oil filter. Notice that I start by removing the filter a little bit at a time. This can be a messy process if you're not careful. Once the oil filter is removed, you can allow the oil filter to drain into the pan as well as the oil that's coming out of the oil filter housing. While that's happening, we can reinstall our engine oil drain plug. The drain plug does have a torque specification. You should make sure that when replacing engine oil drain plugs that you check the gasket as well as torque down the fastener to its proper specification. Over torquing the drain plug could result in a stripped out oil pan. This could leave you stranded and or with a very expensive repair. Just as a side note, they do make emergency plug kits. These kits allow you to add engine oil and drive the vehicle to a shop for a professional repair at a later time. They are not intended to be a permanent fix. Next we'll take a look at the engine oil filter. I'm going to use this clean quart of engine oil to lubricate the gasket on the engine oil filter. I place a small film around the entire gasket surface. This ensures that when I tighten down the engine oil filter, it seats properly. Underneath the vehicle, we'll see the mounting surface. I start to turn the filter on, but realize that I haven't double checked for dirt, debris, or even the old mounting gasket. This could cause a severe leak. You'll want a clean surface. Then I tighten the filter down. I do this by tightening the filter down by hand. You should never use any tools to tighten the filter down. Most manufacturers have a tightness specified on the outside of the filter. Typically this ranges from 3 quarters of a turn to one full turn. You'll notice that I tighten the filter down so that it makes contact, and then I follow up by turning the filter another 3 quarters to one full turn. Once the filter is installed, we can then add our engine oil. Now this vehicle calls for 5W30 synthetic blend. I prefer to use the Motorcraft brand because it's cost effective and honestly it's what the manufacturer recommends. This vehicle calls for 7 quarts of oil. Once all 7 quarts have been added, we'll carefully remove our funnel. This funnel is part of the Funnel Buddy system. You'll see that here in a second. The Funnel Buddy system allows the funnel to drain down into a quart, which then can be recycled at a later date. Now back over to the vehicle. Let's reinstall our engine oil fill cap. A simple twist will ensure that this is locked down properly. Now we'll go to the inside of the vehicle. I've removed my oily gloves so that I'm careful not to transfer oil from the outside to the inside of the vehicle. This can be very difficult to clean up. The oil reminder can be reset through our vehicle settings. By going down to settings, advanced settings, vehicle, and oil life reset, 
we can reset our engine oil life. I hold down OK until I see 100%. Then I start the vehicle up for a few seconds and shut it off. Now you see me checking the engine oil dipstick. I'm doing this to ensure that I've filled the engine oil to its proper capacity. In the event that you've overfilled the engine oil or underfilled the engine oil, it's not too late. Adding a little bit of engine oil can correct an underfilled engine. Draining a little bit of engine oil can correct an overfilled engine. Once you have verified the proper oil level, you should inspect underneath the vehicle for any leaks. If everything looks okay, go ahead and shut the hood. If you enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more like them, please consider subscribing. I hope this video was helpful in you understanding the oil change process for 2019 Ford F-250 with a 6.2 liter gas engine.